Hello, video reviewers! Fyros is back! Back again! <laughs> Today we're looking at Transformers R.I.D. Robots in Disguise Fracture. Who's right here. But we're gonna make him hover off because he's a hover bike. <clears throat> As we take a look at his minicon. All of these blue pieces come from this tray. Which is a model kit tray. And something fell off. So yeah. It's pretty cool actually, because it's a Decepticon symbol. That's very nice. And on the Autobot ones, guess what? It's an Autobot symbol. Insignia. Whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Here we have his Minicon. And focus. That's the only problem with me using an iPad to record is I have to tap manual focus instead of it being a nice and focusing for me. So yeah, here we have the Minicon. This I'll get into in a second. We're going to transform him, but my one's fresh and these pegs don't like to come out, so I'm just going to prepare them. He is a one-step, so we pull on his arms like every Minicon and boom! So the motions are, the legs come out, these ones in the back come out, they come out like that, <laughs> and this chest panel slides down. Brilliant. And, these ch and the chest panel slides down to reveal his face, and two little hooks come out to cover his eyes. Rawr! Here we have Air Razor. I... Don't know why they called him Air Razor, because Air Razor is already a character used in Transformer history. But anyway, he looks like a shark. So, gonna pull off all this armor. Two on the front. Extra fins. I swear you could make a shark out of this. You probably could, I just don't feel like doing it. I'll talk about what I'm talking about in another Minicon video. And the chess piece. <clears throat> this actually looks very nice. I would love to see this more often. Yeah, this is what Air Razor is supposed to look like. Because this is show accurate. Those are technically Energon weapons or something like that. But these little buggers that came off the front of his legs actually have multi-purposes. Purposes is from I English well by the way. They are jagged swords or air razor. See? Or they work with fracture, which I will get into soon. Yeah, taking those out of his hands and setting them to the side. Air razor actually has posability, unlike his Minicon brothers. Which is moving his legs back and forth. I'm the Batman. <laughs> You won't get that joke unless you actually see me behind the camera. Yeah, you push on his arms. And he transforms back. This is a part of a game on the iPad, which is what I'm recording with, so I can't show you the game. But what you do is you put it in front of the camera, you scan it, you unlock the character in the game. But minicons are special items, so you need to scan them every 24 hours so you can keep using them. So far I have two of this guy, because I scanned one over the internet to see what Minicons did, and then I scanned him today, because today I just got him. Yay for mail. But now, onto Boss Bot himself, Fracture. Who's basically just like Soundwave really, because... Minicons. But that... I will talk about R.I.D. and some characters that I think should appear in it if they make a Season 2 in another video. So here we have Fracture. He's supposed to be a hoverbike. Wheel 1, wheel 2. <laughs> He's not very hovery. Maybe you got like the front of the bike here, the... What is that, the speedometer or something? This is where the seat's supposed to be! It's not very comfortable. Oh, hey, look, a face. Right there, in here. Yeah, and here we have the deploying gimmick. Take a Minicon. Any Decepticon Minicons will work, not Autobots. Because it's not backwards compatible. 
There are these little divots here and tabs here that will plug over the Minicon. You hit the gray button and boom, I destroy part of my setup. I'm actually going to move that Tenkai Knight out of the way because he, he is just in pieces right now. So yeah, that's the deploying gimmick. Minicon gets deployed out of this, but this also works in robot mode. I like to push that in because it takes up less space that way. A couple of things you should know about transforming this guy. Fracture here. One, these do tab in. There's a little hole in the sides of it, uh, beside his head. Two, this tabs into the shoulder. What I, I didn't know that, so I'm just going to demonstrate with this side. So I did that to try and cover his face with both of them, but instead of actually tapping them in, which is what I was supposed to do. But yeah, since we got this shoulder unlocked, let's transform the rule. That was extremely racist, I am sorry. Uh, actually, in Japan they say henshin. But yeah, you uh, pull out the shoulders. This one's more tricky because it has this as well. And then we have his mohawk. It's made out of rubber. And then, grab his feet, push those down. Now, what I like to do is I like to pull this arm out and then just, you know, pull it, push this to the side and pull it down to get this arm out because this is the harder one to get out, so it makes it easier. Grab this panel here, pull it up, and into his chest. Take his knees and make sure they click. They don't click, then they're not in properly. And then separate the legs. Boom. Fracture. In robot mode. Well, Minicon deploying gimmick. Um, some tips and trick on how to use this. See this here, which is conspicuously placed at his crotch. <laughs> oh, God. That's... Mm, let me guess, I'm fired. Okay. <clears throat> this tells um, this lever down uh, back here that this can now be unlocked. So you have to make sure he's firmly planted. I like to have his arm not here, but further out. Make sure the legs are split because if they're close together, then this locks. But when they're spread apart, thumb goes here, and that's how the gimmick works. So the legs have to be apart to use the gimmick. But here's also a couple of things you should know. The legs do have to be split, but here's something really cool. When you're deploying the Minicon and his arm... Ah, it's not working. Goes up, he's pointing. And I accidentally dislocated the knee. Whoops. <laughs> so yeah, he has a pointing finger. That's very nice, because the Minicon goes in here and launches out. And when I've done it, the Minicon spun out. So I'm just going to quickly load the Minicon now. And drop him. Because I'm stupid. We're going to do this from the back because it's easier. Yep, see? He, he just spun out. So I don't really know what the cause of that is. I've I'm still gonna have to do some practicing, I guess. But yeah, at this point, robot mode deploying doesn't work as well, unfortunately. Yeah, remember those pieces I took away a couple of minutes ago? Slot here. Boom. Now, actually, these remind me of Stormhawks. They. Uh... It, it just reminds me of the blade is all uh, that the main character used. Yeah, this is what you can do with them. And another thing you can do is, if I remove this, there's a peg here. And if I get the shoulder pad out of the way, you have a storage spot for the other minicon, because this guy is supposed to have two minicons. I was about to end the video, but my camera decided to drop. Um, we're gonna go gorilla style, temporarily. This, these things on the shoulder pads are the mini cons. 
he's supposed to have two, and he comes with one. So, um... Yeah, it's it would be very nice if a third party made interchangeable shoulder pads so he can change the color of these and give him deployed Minicon shoulders. And if the third party were to use this tab here to give him his swords. But anyway, this is Fire Rose 16 signing off. Goodbye!